Hi, once again, this is Doskin Revolver for Mochi Bites and Otaku House. And I'm here at Phantom Ed 2012. It's Saturday. It's about almost 7 p.m. in the evening, so it's getting pretty nippy. The sun's going down. Uh, we're going to try to finish up this interview quickly. Um, and I'm here with uh, Christina, also known as Armored Heart in uh, cosplay.com. And um, she is cosplaying for us as? Um, Sakura from Tsubasa Restaurant Podcast. Uh, that is that is always tough for me to say. <laughs> it's a long name. It's a long name. Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. Okay. Okay, great. And um, so this is an a manga, an anime. Uh, yep, yeah, just a manga and an anime, to my knowledge. Although the anime is pretty much accepted by most of the fandom to be pretty terrible. Um, so I read the manga and I would recommend it uh, as long as you can stand complicated endings, I suppose, because Clamp likes to screw with people's heads sometimes. <laughs> so manga over anime yeah. is your final review opinion. Yeah. Okay, great. And um, have you ever cosplayed as this before? Um, this is my first time cosplaying from Super Chronicles. However, I do a card capture soccer cosplay from the first opening. Nice. After soccer. Yeah. Um, so you, how long have you been cosplaying? Do you cosplay a lot? Do you have other outfits? Um, I've been cosplaying for a few years. Um, this is probably the sixth costume I've done. Um, nice. I also have a Pinkie Pie cosplay that I recently finished. Um, took a lot of sleep deprivation and tears and suffering. And yeah, it was the first cosplay I've ever made, and I made the Galvin Galagown. So. Yes. Lord knew what I was getting into. <laughs> and um, you, you're feeling a little, a little bit under the weather because of that, you would say, like your voice. And yeah, my uh, throat's feeling a little sore lately because I, the, three weeks prior to con, I'd been finishing Pinkie Pie and thus wasn't sleeping, and so it's now taking its toll. It, it seems like uh, a lot of people are willing to, you know, go the extra mile and uh, suffer for their art, for their cosplay. Oh yeah, I'm a great. perfectionist. <laughs> A lot of those around here, and uh, it's good. I mean, for us, we thank you for for you know looking the best as much as you can. And um, you know, I just wanted to ask. Uh, I mean, I guess we've kind of talked about it. Already. Would you say that you you put a lot of money and, and, and effort and time into cosplay? Um, definitely. I mean, my cosplays are always like I'm a big person on high quality. Um, like I said, I'm a perfectionist, so I spare no expense. <laughs> so my Miku, for example. Um, I originally started out with a default version of Hatsune Miku, but then I decided this is getting a little boring. Let's spice it up. So I decided to make her into a fabulous or like a diva version so by making her like I put on rhinestones and there's about 4,560 rhinestones on the cosplay, including the zero one rhinestone on my arm, which takes about an hour and a half to do. Wow. Um, and it also has like a feather boa and like some other snazzy props and a little chihuahua that has matching meat hair. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is a lot of extra detail. That's great. I mean, there's a million meat out there, but that sounds like a very It's definitely one that case. stands out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For heck, that's great. And that one took so just tons of money <laughs> oh. just because I had to originally take five for the default cosplay. And then I had to pay for all those rhinestones and all the accessories and then I had to replace my Miku wig. Is it holding up okay? Oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely holding up. Uh, the old Miku wig was actually recycled to make the matching hair of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> always, you know, use up your stuff. Don't just throw it away. You can always give it to your dog, you know. Uh, Being have them cosplay, you know. <laughs> well, it's a stuffed one. It's, it's a stuffed dog still. I, I would never it throw an actual animal into it <laughs> unless they actually... It's like a private shoot where they're not going to be alarmed or... <laughs> well, that's, that's great. So speaking of cosplay, um, I, I was interested in knowing, I mean, uh, I see some couples around here and uh, I, I love, you know, cosplay, I love comics, I love cons. Um, do you think it's important for a person, for their significant other to be interested in all this kind of stuff too? It really depends on the person and the relationship because, um, I mean, it gives on us something to talk about on the other one thing, um, but it's not everything. Like, my girlfriend isn't as into cosplay, although she can still appreciate it, um, and she 
does usually typically end up being my pack mule some of the times because a lot of my cosplays restrict my movement or I get stuck for photos too often and carry a bag and just, like, just keep having to hand it off to her. And she's awesome for putting up with all of that. It's great to have someone there for you. And she's actually there for us right now. She's doing the camera work. So <laughs> thank you uh, to the girlfriend. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, you know, uh, I wanted to ask, has, has there been any crazy or embarrassing or interesting moments of cosplay? Um, there, I've had moments ranging from like, oh, that's adorable, to oh god, did that really just happen, to just everything. So um, one notable one was, I think it was Fanime 2009. I was cosplaying as Soul from Slater. Um, I was just walking around the dealer's hall, minding my own business, when all of a sudden I hear this fangirl screaming. And, of course, I kind of brushed it off because that's pretty typical for an anime Yeah, they do. Until I hear the word, SOUL! <laughs> and then I was like, oh! <laughs> and then, about a split second later, I was then clumped by about four or five teenage girls. Nice! Who then ran away before I could make any sort of reaction. <laughs> I don't. Oh, no! I do not condone Sold. surprise clomping though, because it's dangerous and can damage a cosplay. But thankfully, mine was a fragile. Movie, so it's like, okay. That's true. I didn't think about that. I just the, I'm, my, the image in my head I'm, that must have looked funny to others. But uh, that makes sense. Yeah, you got to be careful with a cosplay. But I wish like five girls would jump on me. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sean! <laughs> but uh, <laughs> good job. I think that's a compliment. Even if it's of the weird kind, we do get all kinds of characters yeah. at our cons. Kids are always fun too, because uh, like dressing up as Pinkie Pie yesterday, I had a lot of little girls like come up to me and tell me they love my cosplay. And like, hi Pinkie! Oh my god! And there was another time where this one little girl actually thought I was Miku. So she kept like, she was running up to me and asking me, like, oh, are you going to the convention? And like, <laughs> she was so cute! So that cute. is awesome! Oh, you were Miku for her. Miku. Yeah, it's yeah. really flattering. <laughs> I hope you kept up and you were like, yes. Sir. Oh yeah. And you're like, of course. No, child, I'm. I'm not this is not real. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Break I will the crush car. your dreams. No. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, so I guess uh, that's that's pretty much it. I want to say uh, thank you again to uh, Christina for taking the time, even under the weather, coming out here uh, for a girlfriend to help us out with uh, the filming. And um, just, oh wait, one last question. I now I remember. Um, other people might be interested in doing what you do, doing stuff like cosplay, but they think it's too much, it's too much attention, it's too scary, too shy, um, it's um, a lot of effort, too much money to put these amazing things together. What, what would you say to those people? Well, cosplay is about fun. I mean, we're dressing up as cartoon characters from video games and whatever, so we can't really take ourselves too seriously. I mean, it's not a competition unless you enter a competition, and even then. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah, it's about having fun. So, uh, I, I encourage you, I hope. I think Christina encourages you. Yeah, come out, enjoy. Uh, so, thank you, and this is uh, Doskin Revolver Sean from Multi Bites on Taco House. Uh, nom, nom, nom. Peace.